Well, Wade, an absolutely outstanding career. First up, how's it feel? Yeah, somewhat relieved, mate. Um, it's been a big week and not usually one for all the attention, but um, yeah, just I think I knew, I knew it was the right decision and, and now after the game, I, I know that it's definitely the right decision. So uh, yeah, just just been exciting, just getting the boys getting around me and every, all the messages from obviously the uh, Kanga supporters, but then all the Carlton supporters as well. So it's just been amazing and um, couldn't have asked for it better. Three goals today and some massive pack marks. Is there any way we convince you to go around again? Oh, uh, mate, I'm, I'm struggling to get up for games these days and, and in all honesty, I'm, I'm mentally cooked and it's just the right time, mate. And, um, I couldn't have asked for a better uh, end to it and a good win by the boys. Should have, would have been nice to kick that last goal, but hitting the post, but um, yeah, that's all right. In the post-game meeting just before, Brad showed your highlights from your 16-year career. Does it feel like just yesterday you ran out? Yeah, I... I didn't want to say that in front of the boys because I always rag blokes and used to say that. It's like, oh, but it, it does so go so quickly. And I remember the first day I walked into the change rooms, it does feel like yesterday. But um, I've always had a pretty good balance with that. and I've, So it, it's gone quick, but I've embraced every second of it. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to really embrace the time now with the family. And, um, and yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be disappointing not to see you out there next year, but you've left the forward line in some good hands with Ben Brown, Mason Wood, and now Jack Siebel and Nick Larkey in the VFL. Yeah, obviously um, the boys have played a lot together now, and Nick Larkey is just playing some really good footy, and he'll just nestle in nicely. So, um, yeah, exciting time for the club, and it um, wasn't our best year, but like still played, finished ninth, and still played some really good footy. We've got a good brand, so tweak a few things and we should be all right. I'm sure you'll wake up tomorrow sore with a bit of a headache maybe. Um, you know, no training this week. What's yeah. life after footy hold for you? Oh, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll, um, everyone's been asking me. I'm like, I'll just get through the game first and then I'll get through next week first, second. And then, yeah, just assess then. I'll have a few meetings with um, just a few friends of mine that I've, that I've got to do with the businesses and stuff. And then really open to anything at the moment. Maybe a bit of coaching, but... Um, yeah, there'll be plenty of time for that. I might just chill out for a couple of months and then, and then, yeah, might might get sick at home of being a stay-at-home dad and then might go try and find a job. But, uh, no, nah, looking forward to it. Well, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. And on behalf of not just North fans, but AFL fans across the country, absolute pleasure seeing you play and you'll be missed, but thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you very much and see you later.